Hi everyone, I'm here again with some new delicious products from Viviva. Even if they may be delicious, I do not recommend you to eat them. Do not want to hear about any accidents. But in case you would like to take a bite, these are vegan. Joking aside, we got some new things to try out. And if you'd like to try these out yourself, I will have a link in the description box below, along with a 10% discount code for you guys to use. Not sponsored, however, Viviva has been a friend of this channel for a long time now and I'm always so happy to try out their new things. So yeah, we have this little box of paints. It is a set of 15 metallic colors. I mean, can you believe that there are actually 15 colors in this tiny little box? We will take a closer look at that, but first let's check out this. The Viviva Colors Adult Coloring Book, apparently with a floral Theme. So this is 240 GSM premium ivory paper, which I think is the same as in their watercolor sketchbooks. So it is nice and thick to use their watercolors on. Look at this, so pretty. Some of them, like this one, are very detailed. I really like the thick lines. I think that will be good when coloring with watercolors, since maybe the colors won't seep into each other as easily. It is a very nice and smooth paper, so I think color pencils would look really good on this too. And since the paper is so thick and it is only printed on one side, you could probably use markers on it too. I also love that this is spiral bound, so no matter where you are in the color sketch pad, it will lay flat when coloring. Also, I realized if you want to, you can also use the backside on the coloring sheet to draw your own design maybe. So yeah, I'm gonna pick and color one of those. So yeah, let's take a look at this little box of delicious paints. We have a little swatch card and here we have the actual paints. Look at that. So one of the things with the Viviva paints is that they want them to be portable and I have to say this is a highly portable little color palette and also you may have noticed that the palette itself is made out of cork which makes it a little more environmentally friendly than using plastic or something like that. So yeah, there we have them. I'm very curious to try out these metallic paints, so let's swatch them. I decided to swatch the paints on both regular watercolor paper but also on black paper because metallic paints usually looks a little different when painted on a dark surface. The lighter colors tend to pop a little extra. It is also a good way to see the opacity of the paints and yeah, they seem quite opaque. They have a very nice and creamy consistency. We have a good variety of different colors too and so far they are looking very shiny and sparkly. They got almost like a pearlescent shimmer to them and the paints also seem to mix together quite well. I managed to create a somewhat decent rainbow gradient. So I'm very curious about this coloring book so let's start with that. I picked this design to be my my victim. I like the abstract flowers and leaf patterns and the thick outlines. And to color this, I will be using the Viviva watercolor pans, the original and the spring color sets. And they both have some really gorgeous colors in them and I think they complement each other very nicely. So yeah, I don't think I have colored in a coloring page from like a real coloring book since I was very, very little. I have painted my own coloring pages, but that doesn't really count because I'm basically just coloring my own art. But it was actually a very relaxing process. I was listening to an audiobook and just putting pretty colors on the paper. I love the paper in this coloring book. Again, I think it is the same as in some of the Viviva sketchbooks, the premium ivory paper. It is very thick and durable. The page did curl slightly at the bottom edge 
from the wet paint as it usually does when working with watercolors, but it wasn't much at all. I would say that the paper stayed mostly flat the whole time. I did put a tiny roll of tape on the backside of the page just to keep it flat while filming, but other than that it didn't really bother me at all. I also really like the thicker lines, especially when working with watercolors, it can be a little tricky to color in the smaller details and areas, but I think the thick lines helps preventing the colors from bleeding into each other. To be honest, I didn't think I would enjoy coloring in the coloring page as much as I did, but I actually really like this coloring book and I can recommend it. Perfect now in the summer if you just need to relax and do some mindless coloring or doodling. But yeah, when I had colored everything in, I used the metallic paints to add some sparkly details. It worked really well to paint on top of the paint and it added a little bit of shimmer and highlights. I know that metallic paints are usually for adding shimmery details in a drawing or painting, but I just couldn't resist trying them out alone for a whole painting, so let's put them to the test, how well do they perform on their own? And of course I had to paint a unicorn, I mean who doesn't associate sparkly shimmery rainbow colors with a unicorn? So just like I did when swatching the paints, I created this rainbow gradient for the main and I have to say that the paints mixes very nicely because I have noticed that with some metallic or pearlescent paints that the colors can turn out a little weird when being mixed like the shimmery pigments don't mix together but the Viviva metallic paints looks great even when being mixed. But even if the colors are mixing, it may not be the smoothest of gradients that we have ever seen. It looks a little patchy, but I think to achieve a smooth blend or gradient, you need to add a lot more water for the paints to fully blend. But I didn't want to add too much water because then the paints would be more translucent and I want them to look as opaque and saturated as possible. But I do like the cloud-like look of the mane. It looks more like the mane is made out of liquid or gas than actual hair. Oh, maybe the mane is made out of paint and the horn could have been a paintbrush. Why didn't I think of that? That would have been more interesting. Oh well, I still like it as it is though. So yeah, to answer the question, if you can use the metallic colors just as regular paints on their own, the answer is yeah, no problem. So while I was sketching the unicorn earlier, I had another little painting in my head that just needed to come out, so I decided to paint that one too. It is a little kitty in a bottle surrounded by plants and a starry sky. Why do I like drawing cats in bottles? I don't know, but I guess it is just something appealing, having a whole world inside a tiny little bottle. Some people like to put ships in bottles. I put cats in bottles. Imaginary cats though, not real ones, that would be cruel. But yeah, this one too is turning out very colorful and sparkly. I am actually very impressed by these paints, they are so vibrant and I know the size doesn't really matter as they say, but I feel like you can get a lot of paint out from these small pans. I also love the tiny palette, not only is it very cute, but it is easy to bring with you and it doesn't take up a lot of space at all. And again, if you would like to check out the products in this video for yourself or any other products from Viviva, there is a link in the description along with a 10% discount code. I have been working with and supporting the Viviva brand for years now. There is a lot of thought and soul behind their work and I can really recommend their products. 
To finish it all up, I add some purple outlines to define all the details. I had so much fun coloring the coloring page and using the metallic paints and I hope you enjoyed this video and the art. As usual, let me know which one you like the most. So that is all for now. Thanks Viviva and thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye!